All right, so a little tip when sourcing firewood for your backpacking trip. So I'm not even looking anywhere up by where I camp. I just ran completely straight down this hill with the saw closed, of course, safety first. And I, there's, there's just not much up by where I'm camped. A lot of sites are picked clean. And I like to get far away to where people don't go, where stuff is just untouched. So I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that is up off of the ground that's good and dead. Like a whole tree would be nice, something smaller-ish that's got some branches, uh, so it's got some small stuff uh, that I can use as kindling and whatnot to get it started. So basically, I could spend all night uh, just running around the campsite area, just finding little twigs and stuff, or I can travel kind of far and find something very decent. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm looking for. It's already uh, like wedged up in a tree. Now, I don't know if I can get this thing one, this thing down, but this is essentially what I'm looking for here. Completely off the ground, lots of good twigs, and they are very, very dead, so that's good. It's gonna take a lot of work to get it out because I'm about 50 to 100 feet off of the trail right now. I spotted it from a distance. Uh, it's gonna be hard to get it through the brush, but if it saves me time running around at the campsite later, uh, I'm okay with that. I can take one trip that might be hard getting it there, and then I can stay at my camp and saw wood and have a lot hours of burning out of this. A lot of good stuff on here, so I'll make like a couple trips back down here uh, to get some of this, I feel like. So I can probably take both of these uh, up to the site and then come back down, grab a whole handful of the medium stuff and there's just tons of little stuff here. So I'm gonna see if I can't get my entire fire started uh, off of this one tree. A lot of times I don't wanna, I don't like doing that. Um, I don't like putting all my eggs in one basket when it comes to firewood because let's say I cut this and I take all these trips, take it up to the campsite and it's wet or it's it's just not quite as dry as i thought and i have trouble starting a fire that sucks i've done that before so a lot of times i'll source uh, several different trees uh, just in case something i get isn't as good as i thought um this one i'm very confident is super super dry super dead it's been here for a while i feel like uh, i'm gonna take the uh the effort and the risk of trying to solely depend on this wood for my fire Something else I do, and I feel like these are just dumb little things that are obvious if you don't, uh, if, you, if you've been doing this for a long time, but if you're new to collecting wood, uh, these things are very helpful. Like say I'm carrying a branch like this, that's just a big fat base and it got all this little stuff at the edge. When you're carrying this, don't carry uh, the small stuff in front of you because you're gonna catch it on other trees and stuff you're passing by and it's gonna break off. Make sure when you carry your whole stack, you stack them so that all the fat ends are at one end and when you carry them, uh, drag the stuff where it splays out uh, behind you so when you're going through trees, it'll kind of funnel its way through and you might not lose all of it by it breaking off. Something else to consider when collecting firewood Always collect way more than you think you're gonna need. And chances are you're gonna burn all that you collect anyway. 
so it never hurts to get a little bit extra. All right, I got one more trip to go. I got the, the biggest one down, down the hill still. Uh, pretty much three trips with the camera tripod. Could have got it in two, but you know, I do that. So basically, uh, carrying it on the shoulder works really, really good if they're heavy. Obviously, I, c I couldn't like lift them just one-handed uh, the whole way up, but throw them on your shoulder works good. And don't for a second think that if you're wearing like a down, like a puffy jacket, don't think that this is not gonna rip a hole in it because this absolutely will. Even if you uh, are just carrying it in your arm kind of like this, it'll just rub and rip a hole in your down, down will start coming out of your jacket. Definitely don't wanna do that. Uh, anytime you're gonna go get wood, you're gonna be sawing and carrying stuff, you're gonna heat up. So just do, do not wear your puffy jacket. Uh, most backpackers wear those. If you backpack and you don't have one, I'm sure you're probably looking at them. But yeah, I'm gonna go get my last piece of wood. Carrying stuff on your shoulder, it's all about just finding that balance point. It'll just sit there. It can be a real hassle um, trying to find stuff that is dry. And if you're wasting your time finding stuff that's not, um, it is, it's just a big waste and you won't have a good fire or you won't have any fire at all. I've been in this situation before. Uh, a lot of times if it's wet, you have to uh, split it open. You gotta get to the dry stuff on the inside. Going super far away from the established campsite is how I find wood that is like untouched. It's been there a while. A lot of times when you're in a campsite and you find like a nice big down tree, a lot of the reason why it's not burnt is because it just fell and it's probably not seasoned yet. Um, and I do wanna show you real quick on how to uh, saw up some of these logs. I'm not gonna get into the wood processing. I feel like that's a whole nother video in, in itself, but I will show you uh, what I do here. So uh, you always wanna find a log or something like this. I use uh, my legs sometimes and I'll just, I'll saw it like this, but you gotta be careful your other leg, keep that one back. But um, if, I'm, if I'm leaning my log on top of another one like this, if I would go and saw, start sawing right here, that is gonna pinch and it's gonna be hard to cut. And if it's a big log, uh, it's gonna pinch my saw in there and it's just not gonna cut good. You always wanna cut on the upper side of the log. So here I would start uh, cutting this angle right here. And I'll just keep pulling it down sawing. But that's it, that's all I wanted to talk about. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, uh, leave a comment. Also subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this in the future. Hit that little notification bell. But yeah, I might do a like proper fire starting or how high, it's not really proper, how I start fires in the woods. Uh, if you guys like to see that, uh, stay tuned in the future. But that will do it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Real tiny stuff, medium, a little bit bigger. And then over here is my pile of logs that I got. I really wanted to see like all processed down, all that wood that I got, how much I got. And it's not a lot. <laughs>